Good morning everyone. Welcome back to our devotional time and today we'll be considering the book of Third John and to start let us pray. Father we thank you for this day and we thank you Lord for your love, your goodness to all of us that we have gone this far because of your grace and of your mercy. We commit to you this day into your hand. In Jesus' name, Amen. The book of 3 John has 14 verses and this was a letter of Apostle John to a Christian friend. And in this letter, John expressed what he felt. And if you try to read it, you will find out that Apostle John appreciated Gaius because of his love, of his care and hospitality to missionaries. His prayer that Gaius would always have good health and his spirit is always well. In the King James Version, many of us memorize verse 2 and it says that I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper even as thy soul prospering. In the same way, when you write letters to your loved ones or friend, you let them know of how you feel about them and uh, you also tell them that you are happy about them and uh, appreciate their good works, describe their good qualities and let them know that you are praying for them. And in doing so, you will become a blessing to these people. Secondly, Apostle John addressed some issues. He mentioned about Diotrephes. And in verse 9 and 10, we can read that this man was saying false and bad things about John to other people. He was doing something worse. He refuses to receive Christians from other places when they meet together. And he will not let them teach the Christians in the town. And if someone wants to receive those missionaries or traveling Christians, he does not let them. And for those who are receiving these missionaries, he even sends away them from their town. Now, why Diotrephes was doing this? In verse 9, he said that because he wants to be the only important person among them. And so, John the Beloved was advising the believers. In verse 11, he said, My dear friend, do not copy bad people. Instead, you should copy what good people do. The person who does good things is a child of God, but the person who does bad things does not know God. He also mentioned Demetrius in verse 12 that this man, Demetrius, was a good person. He really lives as God wants. Now, how do we apply this to, this to our Christian life? If there are unresolved issues, and you cannot speak in front of him or her, uh, I think, first of all, you have to write a letter not to condemn, but to express what you felt in love. And uh, we can do it maybe by texting them through our cell phones or using pen or paper. But we have to be sure that our motive is to resolve issues, not to cause more fire to it. And do not put it in Facebook to be read by public. Just do it in a personal message. And thirdly, that John the Beloved wants to encourage his friends. That's why he said in verse 6, Continue to help people who are like that. Or he is a, 
talking about Demetrius. And he said that you have to give them what they need to travel. And these things pleases God. He encouraged a friend to copy what good people do. And this is not to compare themselves one with the other, but to imitate them in doing good. So, brothers and sisters, again, I'd like you to read and meditate on this uh, third John and God's love will continue to flow into our lives and we will be blessed and will enjoy peace that is in Christ Jesus. So let's pray that the Lord will also help us like Demetrius and Gaius who really give themselves for the furtherance of the gospel. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you that we can imitate like Gaius and Demetrius who are really uh, taking care of the believers, the missionaries, and uh, helping them that the gospel will surely be preached, will surely be taught to others so that they themselves will experience the love the grace of God and at the same time they may be able to obey the greatest commandment and that is to love God with all their hearts with all their might and soul and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves so Father God I pray that that would uh, help us Lord God to be a man and woman that Lord God through our actions, the way we behave and say things, it would be encouraged. It will bring encouragement, Lord, to other people. So we do commit to you our lives today. Bless each one and protect your people. And those who are not feeling well, Lord, thank you that you are touching their lives and healing them with your love, and with your care. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. God bless. See you again next time in our devotion.